Hey guys, it's that time when I'm going to take uh, the rocket stove apart and sort out this uh, riser base and riser tube. The tube itself looks okay at the top because if you remember, if you go back and look at my videos, you will see that the tube itself is separate from the base. And looking down from the top, through that top uh, view hole, the tube looks okay, but the base has deteriorated. That is because the refractory board I used, I've since found out, it's not rated very high in temperature at all. I think it was four, five hundred degrees centigrade, which is nowhere near enough. I thought it was a much higher uh, spec than that. So I'm going to do something slightly different this time, depending if I've got room to do it. So I'll get this top taken off and I'll come back and I'll show you what it's like inside. The riser tube itself should just pull straight off because it's not fixed down in any way, it's literally sitting on the base. Don't think the base will take much getting out because when I put my hand inside the firebox and feel around in there it's more or less just falling apart. The refactory has been just falling out of it, you know. And there's always one, isn't there? Is that one coming off? Oh yes, it's off. That's good. A low saw blade. He's still going strong because he's been on there three or four years now. But still doing the job. Right. So the, the riser itself, which is made of vermiculite, is intact, which is great. And the riser base is not so great, although that's all that was holding the base in place. <laughs> As that low temperature refractory stuff. And that's how the, I'll show you, I'll take you in and show you. Well, obviously I've just broken away some of the base, but uh, yeah, you can see it's still intact. It was intact, but so much of the inside is uh, purely melted away that the it wasn't creating a proper vortex. That low temperature refractory stuff, which I used in the corners to round it off inside, that's deteriorated. So I'm going to replace that with some vermiculite. So if you have a look at the actual riser base, you will see that that ceramic has virtually melted. But the vermiculite is still good. There is a, I think there's a crack down the centre though. But imagine the heat that's been subjected to for the last year. Well, we'll take a... Look at the firebox now, I've just unbolted that. Perfect. Absolute perfection. Can you see this? Bold again. Well, on this version of getting the rocket stove ready for the winter. 
<laughs> I am going to weld a big thick plate over here because that's been kind of a problem since I built this stove. This, although it looks fairly flat at the moment, as soon as this panel heats up it starts to bow in and then it's sucking air down the back. So a thicker plate will just stop that movement. I'll probably bring it right up to here to encapsulate the entire back of the firebox. And uh, that will provide a good seal then and stop any air getting in. Is there anything underneath there that I've lost? No, <laughs> just a spider. Two spiders. Firebox internals still looking great. Off all that ash, I just burn paper in it, you know, and rubbish. The last few weeks, so yeah. Enough, we don't need to do anything to that firebox whatsoever to get it ready for this winter. Just give it a clean out. Have a look at these seals, maybe, that are just coming a bit loose. Probably replace them. Um, and that is it. Maybe clean the glass. <laughs> That's what's come out of the uh, inside of the stove and the vast majority of it is the actual riser base. So there was possibly just half a shovel of this dust, of this light ash, that's all. That's all there was. So if it had not been for the riser I wouldn't have had to do anything to this stove for this next year. And I suppose that's a great thing about uh, these modular designs. Just building things separately as in the riser, the body and the firebox because if anything goes wrong with any of them you can just unbolt them, replace the part, put them back together. You're not welding everything up, you're not welding risers to bodies, to fireboxes, to the fronts, you just, it's so easy to fix things, you know. So guys, that was the riser tube and as you can see, it's good, it's great, just them ceramics missing from the corners inside which I'll replace but I'll be using that again that's just going to go straight back onto the base there's nothing wrong with it good old vermiculite uh, and not all that's failed on us really is just this refractory if the, if the refractory had been a better refractory I don't think I'd be doing anything to this stove this year other than fixing that back to stop that back warping and that's it, so it's looking pretty good. Mm. I'll come back in uh, probably about a week when I just finalise what I'm going to do with this base. I've pretty much, pretty much got it in my head what I, what I am going to do, but I'll, I'll take you through it and show you. Uh, and then we'll get it lit and see. I'm also going to move that flue into the new building next door just to capture some heat and as I said I may put a shroud around that side of the rocket stove and mount a fan in to blow air into that room as well. If you want to see uh, how this stove was built I did I think I did two or three videos on it they're on the rocket stove playlists on my channel and there's actually a very good set of plans for this stove which were drawn up in 3D and they're on my Patreon. Uh, they're downloadable so you can go there and download all the plans for this stove. Everything is there, all the dimensions uh, for, the, for, the, for the firebox, for the stove itself, the flue, so to scale, they're, they're awesome plans, they really are. And thanks to Andrew who drew them up. Um, and the, uh, the only thing that's different obviously with this is this, it does show the cast riser the original cast riser I built for this uh, and I'm just trying to kind of simplify that cast riser by making it easier to make if you like there's no mold to make doing it this way so you can literally I mean every year if you have to uh, just make a new riser drop it in and light the stove but I think this next one is gonna last at least two or three years of good hard burning um, okay so thanks for watching, thanks to patrons who support me. Uh, there's some great tutorials on my Patreon channel and I'm plugging it. But there are some great tutorials on, on building rocket stoves on my Patreon channel. And subscribe for one month, it'll only cost you $2. What's that, £1.60? Not very much for a great set of plans and all the information on rocket stoves. So uh, I think it's good value. So see you soon guys, okay.